Uh, oh, let me tell this guy. I want to tell you I appreciate you guys. Appreciate God bless you, man. That's safe. No problem. All right, everybody. We're going to be doing a motorcycle training video on how to ride a leader bike for the very first time. Now, this leader bike that we've chose is extremely powerful. This is a Z1000 made by Kawasaki. They call it a thousand, but it's actually a thousand forty-three motor. Check out the motor; it's a beast, but it is very twitchy off the line where you could flip it up over your head if you don't do it right. Extremely powerful. We've customized it. We have the Akrapovic exhaust on it, so you're going to hear it sounds awesome. And <laughs> that guy just started his Harley and all the car alarms are going off. But anyways, back to this. We put the zero gravity windscreen, so look at this look. Doesn't that look great? Very Darth Vader-ish here. Now, this is a six-speed bike, fuel injected. Before we get started, I want to show you something. I'm going to kind of put my foot up here. You see, you can get boots like this. Even Big Five Sporting Goods has them, like, you know, 30, 40 bucks with the zipper here. It has laces, but it's a pain when you're riding a motorcycle. you got to lace it. It takes like three days to take the laces down and take them back up. Um, so notice here it's Velcroed, and then you could unzip it and just take your foot in and out of it. It's great. It has a steel toe and all that. I suggest you get some boots like that. You get motorcycle jacket with CE armor, and these gloves are very special gloves. I want to show you. They're S-U-O-M-Y. I love these gloves. They're hard knuckles and protective fingers but look at the finger area with the finger area i can manipulate my phone it's like digitized right here this part of it you'll ever notice you'll have gloves on and you can't operate your phone so this is great i can manipulate and everything here now another thing one last thing i want to show you and then we're going to get on the bike and i'm going to do the lesson this is a battery charger notice how it's hooked up to the phone and you can have your tank bag here i don't like adding electrical things to my bike and all that and you know i don't want to mess up the stator or the charging system some of these things are very finicky but notice it's solar powered and it's also you could charge it up but let's say you go to the beach you can leave this out and it charges it up and then i'm at a hundred yeah i'm at a hundred percent so we're just going to disconnect it i don't even need that so i just let that sit there and it'll charge it up so you can kind of have your um, phone charged up. Now we're going to get on the bike and it, you know if this is the first time that you're riding a leader bike just just be extra careful. I think the danger of the leader bike if I may say is is there if you don't know what to do but once you know what to do, you realize it's over-exaggerated. So if you have no idea how to ride a high-powered motorcycle, then you definitely want to watch this video. And of course, I strongly suggest don't rely just on this video. Go to MSF course like I did. The problem with MSF course is they don't teach you how to ride a high-powered bike. They just have you ride these little 250s in the parking lot. So let's get started. Um, if you're going to ride a leader bike, that means you've probably already ridden a motorcycle before, so we're not going to spend a lot of time on the basic stuff, but you get the idea. Throttle here, starter here, eject button here that doesn't do anything. And then you've got your dashboard here. You have the tachometer. Um, notice that right here we have a Kropovic. We're going to give it a few revs, and it's like the best sounding pipes that I have. Let me open up the visor. Very good. I'm going to get out of here before we get kicked out of Starbucks. Okay. Remember, this is your first time riding a leader bike. Just be very, very cautious with first and second till you get kind of used to it. It's very, very twitchy, some of these bikes. So we're going to let this traffic go by here. I'm going to put it in neutral. So I actually think leader bikes are safer on the freeway than a 250 or a 300 or a 400. 
even a 500. You start getting up to 600, you could manage on the freeway, okay? A 600, in my opinion, at least a 600 on the freeway. It's okay, brother. <laughs> so, slowly, you're gonna slowly pull the clutch in. Slowly, your first time, give it a little bit of throttle while you slowly let the clutch out and see how it's much more twitchier like that, you see? So with the leader bike, you're gonna find that most of the power is on the front end. The, the power is basically, I'm, like when you get on the freeway, like on the, you're going 60, 70, 80, you know, 90 or whatever. I think we're gonna go left here, let's see. But most of the power, like on that front end, you'll really feel it. Once you get on the freeway, you don't really feel like this explosive, you know, power, but you're gonna find that, this is the best part of a leader bike, you're gonna find that it's not screaming like a stuck pig, like some 600s do. And of course, anything below a 600, they, they scream like a stuck pig. But I'd show you these motorcycles real quick. But if you are going to get a motorcycle for your first time, of course you're not going to get a leader bike, but I know people that started on Busa's, if you can believe that. They started on a Busa, that's like insane. You could find these guys on YouTube that started on Busa's. Now I'm not really into the cruiser bikes, I like the sleek Darth Vader-ish look of the sport bike. So we're going to show you in traffic. Just be very, very cautious. Don't be like, uh, I'm gonna see if I can video record it, but don't be pulling back that throttle like like a nut. These leader bikes, they, I could instantly flip it in like two seconds, like right over my head. Notice, very easy on the throttle. You can't even see that I'm moving the throttle. Notice, very, very easy. We have the Scamdemic over here in California. So notice that they're finally opening up. So that's good. Notice people eating and stuff. Look at this guy's. That's like in the motorcycle category, slingshot. I think it was. So I'm gonna be taking you out onto the freeways and the streets and we're going to get on it and I'm going to show you how this is where the leader bike really comes into its own when you're you know on the freeway now I want to tell you I used to have a 250 like a little ninja 250 and then I got a 600 and I did not feel safe on the freeway I'd pull the throttle back like nothing happens even downshifting you know you pull the throttle back nothing happens so I'm gonna get on the freeway with this and you're gonna hear it roar. And now you're gonna see like, ah, the leader bike is where it's at. I am so used to something with power. I don't think I can live with a 600. I mean, even the R6, you have to really wind it out on the tack to, you know, get some power out of that. So what we're going to do, because we're running into traffic here, the freeway is behind us, so I'm going to go right here and do, excuse my allergies, I'm going to go right here and do a quick loopy. I thought that was a real Rottweiler looking at me. <laughs> well, that Rottweiler's little. Okay, so we're going to go down this way. Got some old classic cars here, look. So we're going to turn around here. Didn't have to put my foot down on that. Look at that old building. Really cool. So we're downtown California over here. And uh, 
everyone's out wanting to just escape the pandemic, scamdemic, sorry. Let's go, all right, good. All right, so <laughs> we've been in first gear all this time, so I'm gonna show you, uh, oh, let me tell this guy. I want to tell you I appreciate you guys. Appreciate God bless you, man. That's safe. No problem. So, hey, he's turning around giving me a ticket. What the hell? No, I'm kidding. So, <laughs> one time that actually happened to me. I was on the freeway, and I had a, a ZX-10 and not this bike but another bike and i'm riding and i'm getting on the freeway from another freeway another a cop motorcycle cops coming from another freeway and we merge so i give him the peace sign and he pulls me over i go look i when I, we got off the bike i took off my helmet and i'm talking to him trying to reason with him. i go look i waved you with all <laughs> with two fingers not one <laughs> and he's like hassling me he's like because I had like a big windscreen that was like colored um, a dark tinted. He's like, you can't have tint on that windscreen. You can't have this and that. And I didn't get a ticket, after, but he was having a bad day. I'm like, man, I'm not going to wave anymore. All right. So now, look, we're in second. We're going to get on the freeway. But you see how the, it's just effortless power. You're going to love it. And... You know, it, when I first, <laughs> there's those guys I saw over there. I saw those guys doing stunts on the other street, like uh, drifting and stuff. So when I got on the freeway, we're going to get on right now. I felt so much safer. I'm like, it's like a car in a motorcycle, you know, engine it just felt so much safer rather than i'm like scared to death i'm pulling the throttle back and like a big semi is coming behind me and stuff so we're gonna get on it a little bit nothing dangerous but we're gonna get on a little bit Let me close my sunscreen. I have an internal sunscreen within my helmet. All right, perfect. There's a semi right there, just what I was talking about. Just effortless. This is what you want. Give me a leader bike any day. Now, let's see, I'm in, let's go up to six, okay? Okay, so I'm in six and it's like 4,500 RPMs. And I have this bike geared where it revs a little bit high, doesn't scream, but a little bit higher than my R1 did on the freeway. Notice I'm at 5,000 RPMs and it says 70. That's right where I want it, why? I don't want it down at like 3,000 RPMs because watch, um, I don't want to do the throttle yet because I'm close here. But watch, I'm in six gear. Okay, here we go. Watch what happens. Pulling the throttle back. See how you're instantly in the slide. So, absolutely no difference when you have a leader bike, except you're going to hit the same speeds, but you're going to hit them faster, and you're going to feel safer. Uh, another thing, too, is I would strongly suggest get one with a windscreen. I don't know how these cruiser guys do it. It's just like just too much wind. I'm not getting any wind. So, you know, get good gear like I have. You see these little holes right here? I have a jacket that does have CE armor in it. The shoulders, the back, and the elbows. But see how there's these little waffle holes? The wind is blowing through it. About 100 degrees in California this week. So the wind is blowing through it, and it's cooling me off. 
and then when it gets cold, which it doesn't often in California, there's a liner that goes on the inside. I also have this little, um, I'm gonna put this video below this one. I have a, a battery pack. It's about the size of a cell phone. And if, watch this. See that? You need something with power. I have a battery pack which is like the size of a cell phone with little jumper cable extensions on the end of it where I can put it on my battery on the motorcycle if it were to ever die and I'm stranded I could jump it without a car around and I've actually saved some stranded motorcycle riders with that device so check it out below here um, I'll put the video right below here now if you're a first time rider I got a video for you what type of motorcycle you should get and also how to ride a motorcycle for the very first time. Look right below this video to see it. But watch, on the count of three, we're gonna pull the throttle back and watch how fast we get up there. One, and this is in six gear. One, two, three. I mean, the GoPro makes it look farther away than it is, but we're about, four car lengths at the most away from this vehicle in front of us. Okay, again, we're on the freeway, we're in sixth gear, watch this. I'm not really giving it a lot of throttle, but I'm just showing you, you, you have instant pickup. And then I'm gonna get in front of this white truck right now. And then you, it sounds so much better than those little tinny 250-300 motorcycles. So get yourself a leader bike. You're going to absolutely love it. This bike did not come with the uh, this custom windscreen. So I got it at um, zero gravity. And so I really like it. It had like a little itty bitty windscreen that it came with. I'm going to put my entire motorcycle playlist right below here uh, so you guys can watch it. And uh, God bless you guys. Like the sheriff said, ride safe.